hi this is abhijit and you are watching ab study circle do like comment share and don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any video from ab study circle in this video we are discussing a question that has been asked in csv2 university exam in 2016 and also it's a question from the unsolved section of the engineering thermodynamics book written by pk nag the question is like this a gas of mass 1.5 kJ uh, kg undergoes a quasi static expansion which follows a relationship p equal to a plus bv where a and b are constants the initial and final pressures are 1000 kPa and 200 kPa respectively and the corresponding volumes are 0.20 meter cube and 1.20 meter cube the specific internal specific internal energy of the gas is in given by small u equal to 1.5 pv minus 85 kilojoule per kg as it is a specific internal energy so in its in per kg term where p is in kilopascal and v is in meter cube per kg this v is in meter cube per kg calculate the net heat transfer and maximum internal energy of the gas attendant during expansion so first we will start with a given so what things are given in the question mass that is m equal to 1.5 kg p1 is given 1000 kilopascal p2 is given as 200 kilopascal v1 is given as 0.20 meter cube and v2 is given as 1.20 meter cube okay also uh, some relations are given p equal to a plus bv and specific internal energy as small u 1.5 pv minus 85 kJ per kg right what we have to find out to find heat transfer and maximum internal energy right so from p equal to a plus bv put this as equation 1 for state 1 we have 1000 equal to a plus b into 0.20 put that equation 2 for state Two. It's two hundred. It's two hundred for state two is equal to a plus b into one point two zero. It is third. Right. Now we are. Uh, if we subtract this two and three, we get a equal to eleven sixty. And b equal to minus eight hundred. Okay, we got the values of these constant a and b. Now, uh, what is the formula for work done for a closed system? W is equal to integral v one v two p d v. Right. So v one is what point two zero and v two is what. 1.20 and p can be written as 1160 plus minus 800 v we are using this right and it is dv so it's simple integration the value will come around 600 kilojoule okay we got it now 
how to find out the change in internal energy we have specific internal energy so for state 1 the specific internal energy will be as uh, 1.5 into P is what? P is in kilopascal. It's written in the question. It's in kilopascal. So P is uh, 1000 into what is V? V is in meter cube per kg. So we have to change this V in meter cube per kg. So we have the mass. We can divide this and we can get meter cube per kg right so this will be 0 0.2 by 1.5 see we are dividing the volume by mass and 85 so it will come as 215 kilojoule per kg okay then similarly for state 2 u2 will be 1.5 into 200 into 1.2 by 1.5 minus 85 that is 155 kilojoule per kg okay so these are the specific internal energies right okay specific internal energies we got this specific internal energies so the specific internal energy will be u1 uh, u2 minus u1 right so it will be forty kilojoule. We are just subtracting the final minus initial. So forty kilojoule per kg. This is specific internal energy. Specific internal energy change to get the change in internal energy we have to multiply the change in specific internal energy with mass right so 1.5 into 40 that is 60 kilojoule so now for a process d cut q is equal to du plus d cut w d cut w we have got as 600 kilojoule and du as 60 so just 60 plus 600 that is 660 kilojoule we got our first answer as 660 kilojoule for heat transfer now it says maximum internal energy so we have the specific internal energy as small u as 1.5 pv minus 85 kilojoule per kg right we can change this p as a plus BV where we have find out A as 1160 and B as minus 800. So 1.5 minus 800 V right and what is V? V is in meter cube per kg meter cube per kg right. So V can be written as small v by 1.5 per kg because we have a mass of 1.5 so we are dividing this as 1 point uh, by 1.5 so that we can get uh, uh, volume as meter cube per kg 
minus 85. Now we will get this as 1160 minus 800 V into V minus 85 which can be written as this is specific internal energy right 1160 V minus 800 V square minus 85 right put that as equation number 4 it's specific internal energy specific internal energy now for maximum specific internal energy this du will be du by dv if we differentiate this and equate it to 0 then we will get maximum specific internal energy its maxima minima problem right so differentiating this with respect to volume will be 160 minus 1600 V equal to 0 then we get from here we get V as 0 0.725 meter cube per kg right now as we got this so the equation 4 will become for equation 4 become what small u specific internal energy will become as 1160 into 0 0.725 minus 800 into 0 0.725 square minus 85 right so u max specific internal energy maximum will be then 335.5 kilojoule per kg this is maximum uh, internal specific internal energy when we have equated your differentiation of del u by del v equal to 0 then we got v and when we put v in u we get this maximum specific internal energy now for maximum internal energy u max we have to multiply specific in maximum internal energy with mass so 335.5 into 1.5 we got the answer as 503.25 kilojoule this is your answer so in this way we got the solution of this question.